Let's get serious. Well, okay, as serious as I can get, which according to my wife is like not much. But let's talk about what we're doing. We've looked at the program in this chapter. We've kicked the tires. We've looked at some of the buttons and some of the menus. But you know what? The best way to figure out a program, I think, is to do something in the program. I've got two shortcuts down here. One's for the organizer, right here. And the other one is for Premier Elements. And that's where I want to go. So I'm going to double click it. Do you ever see this? Well, it's the default welcome screen. And maybe I don't want to go here because I clicked a shortcut to go to Premiere and not to this. And no, I don't want to go to the organizer. I want to go here. So it's one more click. How do you get rid of this if you don't want it? Click the gear right here. Come over here and say, look, when I click for Premiere, I want to go to the video editor. And you can do that if you want. I won't. I'll leave it alone. But that means I have to click here. And then I have to say whether it's existing or new. We're going to start new. And there we go. Now we need some media. We're going to go to Organizer for that. So I guess technically we could have gone there first, but I want to show you how you get there from here. We can go here. Add Media. Elements Organizer. We can go to the word File. Add Media. Elements Organizer. Or you can just click the button right down here. And there we are. Now I'm in Chapter 2. If you recall, what we did is we put all our stuff in Organizer. Now, if you didn't do that, if you chose not to, in a second, I'll show you how you get to your working files. But there they are. So I've got these three. If you want to view one of these, just double click on it, and it will be more than glad to show it to you. Man, that cute. Now I'm going to come here and close it. I need all three. I can press Control A. That's Command A on a Mac, same key, different name. Or you can do the Shift thing. Click here, come all the way over here, and Shift click. That's contiguous. However you do it, select all three. Then come down to this button right here and select Video Editor. So if you're in Premiere and you need things from Organizer, that's easy. Now if you're not in Premiere, you can go to the Organizer directly, do the same thing. If you're not using the organizer, you can go up to Add Media, go down to Files and Folders, then find the working folder for this particular chapter and open them up the same way. One way or the other, organizer is, though, more efficient. Okay, we've got them. Now, it did put them down here, too, on the timeline. And I'll show you how you get around that, but for now, they're there. Select them and delete them. They will be in our project assets right up here. I want the bicycles on the timeline. Don't forget we have video one, but we also have, let me come over here. We have a video two, a video three. I'm going to put that in video one. So I'm going to drag it from here down to here. Stick it right on that side on the left, actually right at the very beginning. Now don't forget the space bar. The space bar is your really quick play pause button. If I press the space bar, okay, there we go, so far. Now I think I would like some background music to go with this. Now we have two. We have light jazz and we have sunny afternoons. Let's try them both. Let's start with light jazz. I'm going to take it down to where? The soundtrack. You say, well, why didn't you like put it on audio one or narration? Actually, I could have. but. A lot of video comes with its own audio, and if it did, this would have been occupied. And if I do decide to do a narration, which we'll talk about later, that's going to go here automatically. Soundtrack, use it. It's for our soundtrack. Now, if we come over here, let's see what it sounds like. Excuse me, but I fell asleep for a second. That's kind of boring. I don't like that. So I'm going to come down here and get rid of it. Just press delete. This one, let's try it. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Now, it's larger than what we need, because they're going to end right here, and it's going to keep on playing. So let's see if we can do something about that. 
Also, these things are really squished up this way, left and right. I need more room so I can work on this down here. See this button right here? Click that button and that'll fit it to the visible timeline. If we then come down here and expand Soundtrack, we can now see it. Now it looks like there's a break right here. And if I come closer to that area, let's see what that sounds like. Okay, so it stops and then it starts again. I'm going to use my left and right arrow keys. Now listen. What I did is go frame by frame to the left until I got just in front of where it comes on again. I don't need anything to the right. See this little scissors right here? We'll select this clip and then click it. Cuts it. Now there are about four ways we could have done that. That's the easiest way. Select it over here and get rid of it. This needs to be a little bit longer. Now the only way we can make it longer is by slowing it down. So I'm going to look at this one down here. Sunny afternoon is 29.07 seconds. This up here is 24 seconds. So I need this to be about 29. Right click your mouse. Time stretch. Come into here. Change that to, well, change it to 29. See what happens. So say 29 semicolon 00. zero. Means it's going to slow it down about 20%. Click OK. That's not too bad. Let's see the ending again. That's pretty neat. Now let me mention one other thing. You will notice, and let me get it over here so we can see this. This is a digital juice video. I love them. I've been working with, or actually I shouldn't say it that way, I've been buying digital juice stuff for over a decade. I love the products. I love what they do. I've watched them grow over the years and get more stuff and better stuff and really cool stuff. If you need anything in terms of video or audio, it's a really good company to go to. And this is a digital juice video. I don't want it to end like this. It's just boom, it's gone. So we're going to come down to transitions. Go into 3D motion and change that to dissolve. Let's do a classic dip to black. So we drag it from here. That's how you do it. Put it on the end. You see that come up. Go ahead and let go. There is no between or right. So left clip. I want it maybe two seconds. Click done. So we now have a little bit of a fade on the end. And just in case that audio is still playing when it gets to the end, do this. Go back to transitions. Go into Dissolve up here and change that into Audio Transitions. Let's choose Constant Power. That's kind of a volume control. And we're going to bring it down here. And this is disabled. I'm going to make it two seconds. Now let's check it out. Let me actually do this. See this button? That collapses so we get a little bit more room up here. The start, I won't play the whole thing. Let's go to the end. That's not too bad. Now we could do the same thing at the beginning. If we come over here and go back to transitions and go back into dissolve and put a dip to black at the beginning. Maybe two seconds again to keep them conformed. And real quick, let's pull that over. That's not too bad, really. Very simple. We only have two things. We have a video and we have a soundtrack. And we put it together in a matter of minutes. So if you go back to when I was talking about like your baby's first footsteps and you have that as a video, you could actually put that together with a little bit of a soundtrack and have it ready to go literally in a matter of minutes. Now I want to show you how you save a file, but I think we spent enough time in this particular lesson in this chapter. You don't really have to leave this open if you don't want to. But we are going to talk in the next lesson about saving a file, and I'm going to use this one as an example.